Good evening, this is Tom here, Tom's Train World here, and uh, today I was troubleshooting this block where the train is right now, and the sense of the BD-20 from NCE wasn't detecting the track when the train went through, and what was happening was the signal there that this went from red to yellow wasn't working and so when the trains come around they couldn't stop so um, what I had to do was I um, had some extra BD-20s and I swapped it out and it still didn't work and it was hooked up to an AU AIU-01 and the light wasn't coming on on the port that it was plugged into then um, what I did was I put some uh, jumpers on this track right here and where the trains gonna be coming around soon and then I ran that as the feeders because I thought maybe I had a feeder wire problem but uh, I didn't know why it was a feeder problem because the trains ran and I put my uh, tester on there I'll show you and this thing lights up when see how it's lit up and I had good uh, 14 volt current on that track with the feeder so I was playing around and the BD-20 has a ground wire on it and then the other ones for the relay and um, it was just um, not working right so when I put the ground wire on I ran new feeder wires to the BD-20 and then all of a sudden the LED on the AIU-01 came on and it stayed on even though there was uh, nothing on the track I put an engine on there then I would take it off and it would still stay lit up so what I thought was what's going on so then I um, have this terminal block underneath there because on the AIU-01 it only has three ports for an AI uh, for ground wires and you can have 14 uh, BD-20s on there so that's 14 wires so I put a terminal block on there and on the terminal block I have this bus bar that I put on the one side so that all the screws are going through the same wire I looked at the uh, where they were screwed in and the, the one side of the terminal block the screw was loose on the ground on the uh, bus bar side as soon as I tightened that up it still didn't work and the light came on, on the, and stayed on so we couldn't figure it out and then uh, I spoke with the NCE support and they said well try something and this and that we tried a couple things and what it came out to be was um, I replaced the feeder wires because those uh, feeder wires that were on that track are those rail um, feeders you know you slip them on a the rail and it has <coughs> excuse me a wire that goes down that's very thin wire not very good to be using for uh, feeders so I replaced it with 24 gauge wire and I still had a solid light on the AIU-01 and we can see that signal there is um, red now and it's going to change to yellow in a minute and we'll see there it goes yellow and then it's going to turn green in a, in a few seconds and it should go green there it goes so now it's working and uh, this guy here is running through dispatcher right now you can tell how it plays a horn nearby it gets to that train station what I'm going to do next is see if it can pause right there for a couple seconds uh, that's the next thing to do in, in, the, in the dispatcher but um, so it turned out that what I had to do um, this was um, the guy from NCE said maybe the block is too long 
and um, you're not getting resistance on the BD20. Uh, so what we did was we soldered some joints. I did a solder here, then I came over here and I soldered there, I soldered there, and I soldered there. So this whole circle is uh, a block. And as soon as I did that, imagine that, everything started working. So now I'm playing around with the spatcher and trying to get the trains to run. And um, I didn't have, uh, I don't know, I had both of these trains running and then one would stop and this and that. So I took this one here and moved it over to here for now to get it off that line and uh, let this guy run. And he's running continuously in dispatcher right now. But what I'm planning on doing is putting a siding here, right here. And um, all the train, both of these trains will fit on this siding. And then right down here, I'm going to put, let me get it. I don't have it in stock yet. It didn't come in yet. I ordered it from Yankee Dobbler. But this is the pattern. I get it before the train comes around again. And it's going to be a uh, three-way switch there. And I got to pull it up before the train comes through. And uh, but that's what's going to go there. And I got to pull that out. Uh, fit another tortoise in there because the three-way switches need two. They have two throw bars on it. And uh, then I'll be able to uh, test and pull a train off the track and keep it in the same area here. And that'll make it a lot better. And uh, so I ordered um, a uh, Pico three-way, but it's a Code 100. Uh, nobody, you know, uh, Walters has one. I found it on eBay, but the bloody thing is uh, too long. And um, I couldn't fit it in that spot there. Because I already have uh, two turnouts almost back to back. There's a short piece of track to separate them two blocks. And uh, so that pattern there fits right over top of that spot there nicely. And then I'll be able to fit it in there and uh, get that going. And that'll make uh, things uh, easier for me to troubleshoot over here if I have a signal problem or a, be a block problem or something like that in the future. So um, I'm going to let this guy run for a little while and see if it uh, continues to run no problem. And then tomorrow I'll uh, put the other one back on and um, I'll pull him off and let him run around and then I'll try to get him to work together again. They were working together and this problem just creeped up why this block 5 here um, wasn't working and I was pulling my hair out trying to get it. I cut the wires, I you know put new lead ends on them and, and this and that and nothing worked so but uh, the solve the problem was one, I put new feeders in and got rid of the uh, rail, the joiner feeders, and two, solder every so often on the block your joiners uh, together so that it keeps the track getting the right resistance uh, to the BD20. So that's it for today. And um, we'll see you in the next video when I get this uh, three-way in. And uh, I'll show you that. And then maybe by then I'll have all the trains running and stuff like that. So everybody have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.